how does it feel to be back in Atlanta? I know you spent quite a lot of time here. Yeah, I lived here for about two years, so it's cool to be back. Um, but I visit often because yeah. Ti, of course, mm-hmm. lives here, so I come out uh, and harass him nice. regularly. He needs and to be harassed. He so does. That's good. Somebody has to do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's always nice to be back, especially in summertime. I do love it in summer with all the trees and. I know. Well, it's like we didn't get a spring this year. We went straight from freaking well, winter to I summer. Wish I'd, I wish I had skipped spring. <laughs> <laughs> you're just ready for the warm weather. and I'm yeah. a, You know, I'm Australian. I'm an Aussie girl, so I love my summers. Oh, you're so... See, I th- that's on my bucket list, by the way, to visit yeah, Australia. No, I think it should be on everybody's would, bucket list. I definitely enjoy it. It's, it's tons of fun. If I go, where should, what should I do? What's like the top thing to do? It's I think not the touristy. Thing, well, everything is fairly touristy. Um... Stradbroke Island is a great place to visit, and that is um, near the Barrier Reef, but a little bit lower down, and it's an island, and you get your car on a barge, and it goes over, and this island is very small, so it's pretty much all just a beach, and in the center of the island is all sand dunes, so you go sandboarding, or you go to the beach, and it's so, so much fun, and... um, yeah, Stradbroke Island is my favorite thing to do as an Australian. That's a bit less touristy. It's somewhere where people that are Australian would vacation. Um, and that's a really cool place that I think is amazing. The water is like crystal clear and people go out canoeing on the ocean and or you can do sandboarding. and It's, it's really not, cool. I, I am very, when it comes to um, coordination, I'm... I, I can't even do a cartwheel, so will I be able to sandboard or will I hurt myself? <laughs> um, I think you would. And yeah. if you fall, you're falling into sand, yeah. which I think is better than snow. It's a little softer. But you do have to walk all the way up the sand. There's no way. There's no lift like with skiing. It's hard to sink a post into sand. Um so you do have to trudge your way back up there, and it's very hot. Sounds like a good workout, though. It is. It's All lots right. of fun. Any difference, a major difference between Australian guys and American guys? Because I know you've spent plenty of time in both places. I have. Um, I don't know. Men will be men, I think. Very true. <laughs> I think that's going to be the statement of the yeah. day. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I have to give you major props because I saw this and I saw this on your Twitter feed. And I from I, just, I don't think just from women who are entertainment, but mm. women in general, you sticking up for yourself because people were giving you so much <laughs> about not wearing makeup on a plane. Yeah. And I'm like, seriously? <laughs> so I was so proud of you for standing up for women being like, who is going to pile on Say makeup something. for a six hour flight? Yeah, I agree. That's just the road to bad skin. <laughs> um. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Too? Yeah. I think it's really sad. Um, I kind of expected from the media, but I think it's really awful on social media to see so many other women tweet me pictures of myself at the airport without makeup. Like, look at you, you're so ugly. And I think, how awful. You also don't wake up in makeup either. And um, you should be happy to see me look like crap. Uh, because it lets you know that we all do sometimes. <laughs> it's, it's normal. It means we're all human. Yeah, just think it's like really awful to see other women do that um i just don't understand i don't that. either it really baffles me do you think women are harder on other women than say men would be harder on women um, when it comes to appearances yeah definitely i definitely think we uphold ourselves to this crazy standard of of beauty and even i myself have to catch myself when i see stars without makeup and i'll be like go oh god and then i'm like wait a minute <laughs> Have you seen yourself in the morning, girl? It's the same situation. So relax. Just chill out. Um, Yeah, I think it's really easy to get an emotional response out of women especially uh, because we're very emotional and I think the media knows how to get an emotional response out of us. Even I have to catch myself sometimes. Well, I give you props and I say keep flying. Thank you. Yeah, Yeah, I'm going to keep flying makeup free. Good for you. Otherwise, I'll just have a face full of pimples that I'll have to cover up afterwards and that's no good either. It'll take the makeup artist like twice as long and nobody wants to sit in that makeup chair. And I don't want to be able to walk around the house with my boyfriend and not have to be in drag um, because I've been wearing it on the plane. (laughs) Now, it's awesome that you got to tour with Beyonce. Of course, you're, you're doing your own tour now. Yeah. When you were doing the tour with her, what did you learn from Beyonce that you're able to implement with, implement? with your own tour? I think just definitely uh, with Beyonce, the importance of um, your own showmanship. It's really easy to get caught up in having an explosion, having a video wall, yeah. having a robot that comes out and shoots everyone in the face with a laser. <laughs> and it's really easy when you have um, a budget and the, and the ability to go mental 
with all these sort of props and things like that. And one thing I think I learned from Beyonce was the power of just a great performance and stage presence, which she has. And she had a lot less robots and explosions than I anticipated. Um, And I was very impressed and entertained. And I think it made me decide to cut back on maybe video content and things like that and um, do more of just traditional lighting or having great dancers costuming and think about those sorts of elements instead. It's amazing how entertaining just raw talent can be. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Because <laughs> I, I noticed that when we watch award shows, I, I can't remember which one it was, but everybody, like you said, were doing these grandioso mm-hmm, backdrops. Crazy things. And then Adele came out and Adele just sang. Yeah. And she blew everybody else away. Yeah. And I think there is something just. Yeah, there's something to be said about that, I think. Sometimes less is definitely more, for sure. All right, so I'm going to just, if you don't mind, I got a couple of names here. And these okay. are women that you have worked with or yep. that you definitely know. And if you could just give me one word okay. to describe each, each woman. woman. So right. we've already mentioned her. We'll start with Beyonce. Beyonce is, she's gracious. Gracious. I like it. How about Jennifer Lopez? Because I know you all have a collaboration that's going to be on her yes, new album coming out. Yes, we do have out. a collaboration. She's iconic, I think. I used to sing karaoke to Beyonce on my stereo in my room um, and sing Jenny from the Block and all her hits. So um, to me, I think she's like, she's such an icon. Yeah. We, we just got to talk to her yesterday. And she, she threw back to her own self in her music video. Like she did an ode to her own iconic dress. <laughs> I was like, only Jennifer Lopez could throw back her own self. <laughs> That's awesome. Only she would be able to, she's capable of doing yeah, something like, like that, for sure. I do an homage to someone else and she does an homage to herself. Like, hey, that's no. how amazing she the is. The Clueless video is freaking <laughs> awesome. I think we can all agree to that, for Thank sure. Thank you. What about Rita Ora? I always say Rita is cheeky. cheeky. She's very cheeky. Yeah, she's cheeky and mischievous. I love her. I can tell that from the social media pictures. Yes. You guys have a good time cheeky. together. Yeah, she tries to say I'm cheeky. I'm like, no, it's you. And it's you. How about Ariana Grande? I think she's spicy. Spicy. Yeah, people would say, think I would say sweet or bubbly mm-hmm. or all those things, but actually Ariana is very spicy. And um, her and her mother, who I love both dearly, um, she has a little sharp little... She gets what she wants. She Not in a bad way, yeah. in a feisty, sassy way. She's very... Ariana is very, very sassy and spicy, more than people would think. And I think she gets it from her mother, who I will absolutely love. Um, and she's very sweet too, but I say, yeah, I think she's feisty and spicy, sassy, more than people would uh, would imagine. No, and I, I get, love that. Yeah, because I do think that's an interesting angle. Because the, girl no- gets her, the girl has everything perfect. She Trust me. She, she she knows what she's doing. Because <laughs> <laughs> on the red carpet, she you would use sweet, demure. Yeah. But to hear that side of her, that's really no, cool. She is. She's actually funny. She makes me laugh all the time. And she says these funny little like she's very observant and has these feisty little like sassy like opinions of things that she's kind of like going back and forth and saying. And um and that surprised me about her. And I I love it. It's awesome. So let's talk about being a female in the hip hop world. Have you noticed that? Has it been inviting or have you gotten some pushback? Uh, of course I've gotten pushback. Um, I don't know how much of that is about me being a female or maybe it's that I'm a, that I'm foreign or it could mm-hmm. be a bunch of things. I, I'm not sure what the combination is, but I think being a female is definitely part of it. Um, but to me, I don't worry about that too much because I find my support with my women – um, and and just general industry in other ways with girls like Ariana and Rita or Missy Elliott's a girl I love and mm-hmm. so I think well women will women are women and they don't necessarily have to be rappers or or other male rappers in hip hop for me to feel supported I just think of it as one big kind of music industry or show business and I have so many people that kind of I've formed and fostered friendships with that I don't notice it so much anymore. Gotcha. Now, of course, everybody talking about the new classic and it's a fantastic album, but you're already thinking ahead to the next album, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, of course. I'm always doing that. I can never just Be relax. in the moment. I know. <laughs> it's so terrible. Can we get any, do you, can you share anything or is it just everything running through your head as far as like um, what direction you want to go? Because right now you're headed in an awesome direction. That's for sure. Thank you. 
I don't know, but I know I'm definitely going to call it the new classic again because it annoyed so many people that I have to do it twice. Why do you think that got to so many people? Why do you think so many people got to burn their butt I about that? I think that we just live in this world where, one, people are scared of the word classic, and two, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's partially social media or fear of failure, but people are afraid, I think, to be great or proclaim their greatness, maybe because other people would tear them down or because they're scared that they won't live up to it or whatever. My album title isn't even about my me finding myself to be classic, ironically, but I just think it's funny that the word classic or great or um, these things is why are people so scared to like proclaim them? I don't know. Um, so I love to because it's. I just find it so trivial and hilarious <laughs> Iggy Azalea the album the new classic she's on tour now you're going to be performing at center stage tonight yeah, very excited. and uh, Cassie and I are going to be at the show yes. so we look forward to oh, seeing well, it should you be do good your fun. thing we've already got our pregame got figured all the out girls and yeah. up there on stage you We're, will love it we were um, listening, we were watching videos and, of course, listening to your music, uh-huh. getting pumped for the interview. Oh, oh good. Yeah, of course. And Don't uh, get too pumped. I saw in New York a bunch of kids got too pumped and they had to get taken away in the ambulance before they even got led into the building. <laughs> so too pumped can sometimes, don't pregame too hard, no. kids, if you're coming <laughs> to my show. It is hot today. Take it easy. <laughs> I want you all to make it in. <laughs> We, we promised to pregame responsibly okay, good. before we get there. But we were listening to Fancy and we're like, that goes on. Because all girls know when yeah. you're at, when you're in an apartment, in college, yep. living together, you have to have the pregame playlist. You have playlist. a pregame playlist. You definitely do. You and definitely do. Fancy is on that list. Well, I am. that is the biggest, I think, accolade one, an artist can receive to be on a woman's pregame playlist. Oh. So I'm happy to hear. <laughs> oh, to get you so amped for the night, for sure. All right, Iggy Zayas, thank you so much for thank joining us today. Me. And we look forward to an awesome yeah. Yeah, me too, me too. Real, real, funny, funny. The Bird Show.